welcome back to the fourth part of this mini tutorial series. What we've done is created all the elements to make this business card or as I said before it could be a poster, it could be a banner, a web header or anything because everything I've taught you you can apply to those sizes. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is move these around and put them into a pleasing design. Now of course you don't have to stay with the one I've done but let's show you how to do it and this is where the select tool comes in. That's our... oh yes, what I've done is I've grouped them all together by rubber banding them and then going up to here so I need to ungroup them and it's that one there and you can see all the boxes. Click off there and we can now work on these individually. We've got the... whoops... move that back. I don't want to lose that so what I'm going to do is just move that out of the way and what I'm going to do is take the select tool and put a box all the way around it this image, rubber band it and then I'm going to go up to here which is to group and bring them, group them together and then I can move it. So that's the beauty of grouping them together because that is really fiddly. Okay so that's our image. The text, hmm I like Ellsworth Miles but I think it's a little bit big so we'll um, shift and control to hold it there. Let's try these, let's put that out of the way for the moment, let's try it in the middle with the, and if you want to you can stretch this out a bit. These are a bit too big and really the address itself isn't that important as long as you've got the email address, telephone number and web address you don't really need the these two but we'll keep it in but I'm going to make it smaller. Um, let's stretch it but then move it in like that. This is just a question of clicking and moving these or shifting, holding shift and control. And let's bring that back in. Yes, that's okay. What you could do is create another one of these and a very quick way of doing it is to select it, which we've done, go up to edit and come back down to duplicate and click and what it's done it's duplicated on top and all you do is select the top one and move it. That looks a bit silly I want to flip it and this is the flip vertical no nope, I always get this wrong horizontal that's the vertical so let's flip it horizontal have it selected click on there and that's a very easy way of duplicating any shape. Well that's, that's a possibility, it's quite nice um, but I'm going to stick with my previous design so I'm going to take that off in fact I'm going to um, discard it and I'm going to press delete. I'm going to move it over to the side here because I want this one coming up there and I want a nice straight line. I don't like the to get that in it's squashed up and I don't like the font so I'm going to change it back to Apple Lie Gothic and the quickest way to do this is to click on that one and holding shift and clicking on all these and then go up to T which is the text, move that out of the way and if we put in Apple you will see it will come here and if I click on there that's what it's going to look like we'll change the sizing in a minute 
we can have it in bold, can have it in italic. I don't like the italic. Bold italic even. But let's go just with bold. And if you're happy with it, click apply and just watch the text. It's changed. I think that font is easier to use on a business card. But of course, on a, a bigger um, project, you can use bigger fonts. Right. Um, let's play. Oh, click off because they were all together there. And we can play around with these. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. I want to align it into the, the middle of this and I'll show you how to align in a minute. This one we'll put there. Rowington is going to come there. Olympic fields. I did this when the Olympics were on as you can probably guess and I want that. What did I do here? Yes, moved it in didn't I? So if we do, because what I want to give the um, impression of that this is a sort of, well, a square, if not a third. I'll do that there. Yes, I think I'm quite happy with that. Just move that down a little bit. And I want to line these up. So I'm going to line it up with Elsbeth Miles. I'm going to click on there and again, shift and holding the shift key, clicking on all these others. And then we're going to go up to this one here, which is the align tool. Click on that. And I want to align it to the first one. So in here where it says relative to, click there and it's first selected. And I'm looking for the line down the side here. That's the left hand side, that's vertical and that's horizontal, that's top, that's bottom, it's this one. And if you click on there and watch the text, it's all shunted together. Click off and that's a very neat way of aligning your text or, or any object. And we're going to do the same with the bottom and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hold shift and click on the blue go up to the line but this time I'm going to align it to the last selected because that was the last one selected and I'm going to have it in the cent on the vertical I don't want it on the horizontal I'll show you what happens it goes right in the middle I don't want that so if I go up to edit and undo a line. That will undo the last. And there you have your business card. And just to make sure everything stays together, I'm going to rubber band it and press group. And there you have it. I'm going to take this business card and show you in the next video how to save in uh, diff in different formats so that you can use it in different ways. I hope you found it useful. If you do have any questions or comments, pop over to our Facebook page. The address is below or email us on sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com. Until the next video, bye bye for now.